Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma is a type of cancer of the lymphatic system. It starts in lymphocytes, which are a type of white blood cell, which are part of the body's immune system and mainly appear in the lymph glands. Well, when I first went to the hospital just for my test results, I had no idea that it was going to be cancer because cancer happens to somebody else. There are many different types of lymphoma and we divide them into high-grade and low-grade types depending on how quickly they grow, how urgently they need to be treated and how intensively we need to treat them for the best results. So high-grade lymphomas tend to be the ones which grow quickly, which need to be treated fairly quickly and which need quite intensive forms of treatment. I was just in a state of shock. I just sat there. I didn't know what to ask, how to react or anything. We don't really know what causes most cases of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. It seems to be in large part just bad luck. We do know that there are some groups of people who are much more susceptible to non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. For example, those who have a suppressed immune system, perhaps after a transplant, or those who have HIV infection. But in general, the cause of non-Hodgkin lymphoma is not known. And I had a, a lump at the back of my neck that I'd had like for 10 or 15 years. In general, non-Hodgkin lymphoma is commonest after the age of 60, but unlike many other types of cancer, we also see quite a large number of cases in a much younger population right down into early childhood. All I could think about was I was going to die from cancer. There was no point in booking a holiday. There was no point in mowing the lawn because, or even going to the hairdressers because I just didn't think I was going to survive. Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma can affect any system in the body, so it can present in a lot of different ways. By far the most common is for people to notice a swollen lymph gland, whether it's in the neck or under their arm or perhaps in the groin. But it can equally well present with fluid in the chest causing difficulties with breathing, with swelling in the stomach causing pain or distension or blockage of the bowel, or if, for example, it's a lymphoma of the brain, they may present like a brain tumour with reduction of consciousness or the symptoms that look like a stroke. Well, after a while, when my neck was so big and I wasn't feeling very well, they decided I should have an oral type of chemotherapy. And so you just take it every day at home. You don't have to go in for treatment. I never felt ill. And after about six months, um, the lumps went down. Because there are many different types of lymphoma, there are many types of treatment that we use. The most commonly used treatment is chemotherapy of some sort, which may be in tablet form or may be more often given by injection. Together with that, we very often use a treatment called antibody treatment, which is a small protein molecule which is made to stick selectively to the cells of lymphoma. In addition, we quite often will use radiotherapy as part of the treatment, and sometimes operations are needed, although that's not very commonly done except to make the diagnosis with a biopsy. And it really is a bit of a roller coaster, you know, you're thinking, oh, fine now, and then, oh, oh no, there's a little lump there, I best go back to the hospital. And then I had some more of the chop, but I also had radiotherapy this time because it was stage four. So it was in my groin and my stomach, my chest and my neck. It's very important to have the correct diagnosis made as quickly as possible so that you can make a plan for treatment. There is an enormous range of behaviour in lymphomas, so some of the slow-growing, low-grade ones may not need any treatment at all after they've been diagnosed for many years, if ever. On the other hand, the high-grade ones may need to be treated as a matter of urgency. The important thing is to get the information, to get diagnosed, to get a biopsy as quickly as possible. Get as much information as you can when you've been told you've got cancer, because information is very, very useful. Join a support group, talk to your CNS, your clinical nurse specialist, or your Macmillan nurse, or just join any group where you know that's other people that are suffering from the same sort of thing. There are a variety of different places to look for useful advice about lymphoma. Uh, the Cancer Help website run by Cancer Research UK has a lot of information both about lymphoma and about the sorts of treatment which are commonly used, and very importantly, about the types of clinical trials and research that people can take part in. Another very good organisation in the UK is the Lymphoma Association, which runs support groups throughout the country. There is life after cancer. You don't have to give up. I've had it for 17 years, and I know I'm going to be here till I'm really old and ancient, so I can make my children's lives hell. <laughs>